Now on the picking hand, he begins just the same way, and he basically takes the thumb pick and rakes it across all the five strings. And you want to hit that rake good and hard, make it just jump out, and it begins on the end of the fourth beat. So one and two and three and four. <laughs> just a forward-backward roll. And it just begins on a slide again. In the in and out roll, that's fourth, 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 third, fifth, first. Just that lick right there is just a thumb, middle, index, middle. So, four. Now, notice right there I didn't hit the fifth and first, I hit the fifth and th fifth and third. Instead of, it just seems to keep the tone more concentrated around that G, more like uh, the clawhammer banjo would do. And this big bit really is a, a three-finger version of the way it would have been done in clawhammer, and so we need to make note of those little little differences. So he's doing the fifth to third, not the fifth to first. So it would sound like this. second time he plays the A part, he just goes right into it again, except this time with that, he doesn't rake across the strings, he just puts the thumb pick on the third, fourth string and plays it. <clears throat> and that first beginning right there on the second time of playing the A part, he's just doing basic forward roll. Kind of similar to your uh, Scruggs backup on fiddle tunes. So it's basically like that. One, two, three, four. And the B part, he puts his thumb pick on the second string and does the slide. And when you do that lead in to the B part, make sure that you raise your finger off the head just when you do that, you lay the thumb pick down, and as you're hitting it, just raise your hand off the head. And you know, if you watch uh, great players like Earl Scruggs and even J.D. Crow, they'll sometimes lift their hand off the head to get more of that woofy uh, tone coming out of the banjo. So. first part of the B part is basically just a set of pinches. One, and two, and three, and four, and... And the second time he does the B part, he just does a slide simultaneously playing the second and first strings together. Yeah. 
have it. 